Hello everyone. So we will be discussing about the anatomy and physiology of the mammary gland. So introduction, mammary gland is composed of four main external anatomical landmarks, which are the teeth, the mammary quarters, the mammary groove, and the suspensory system. It is located in the external gland. It is an external gland located in the inguinal region of most quadrupedal mammals, such as the cows, um, the goats, or the sheep. So in other mammals, such as the monkeys and the elephants, it is located in the thoracic region. Proper attachment of the gland to the body is maintained by a strong suspensory system. The anatomy of the mammary gland. The weight of the other is supported by the seven different tissues. These tissues carry the weight of the mammary gland and support its function, specifically during suckling of the young. Tissues involved in the skin of are the skin of the other, the superficial fascia, the coarse areolar, the subpelvic tendon, lateral suspensory ligament, deep lateral suspensory ligament, and the median suspensory ligament. Teats. The teats are the exit point of the secreted milk from the mammary gland. The size of the teats is independent from the size and shape of the other or its milk production. The streak canal of the teat or the teat meatus is the orifice from where, from where the, the milk comes out, which is composed of three to five convex epithelial projections. These projections are closed by involuntary sphincter muscles. The mammary glands are composed of connective tissues and glandular tissues, which are highly vascularized. Milk is produced in the secretory cells called alveolus, which are arranged in a single layer of glandular cells forming the small cavity. Several alveoli forming unit called lobule, which are connected by the milk ducts. These lobules are packed by a connective tissue sheet and forms a structure called globe. The milk that is continually, continuously produced in the alveolar region is stored in the milk ducts, cisterns of the other, and teeth, and also in the alveoli itself. The duct system that is present in the mammary gland are similar to the lungs. These ducts allows the transport, transport of secreted milk from the alveoli to the teeth. The veins that carry the deoxygenated blood from the mammary gland are the external pudendal vein, subcutaneous abdominal vein, and the perineal vein, which are antiparallel to the arteries. Blood flow to the mammary gland is maintained by the pudendal arteries. The pudendal arteries are the branches of the external iliac arteries, which are the branches of, again, the abdominal aorta. Lymphatics comprise of concentrated areas of leukocytes which fights up foreign materials in the other. It also collects the extracellular fluids from the mammary gland back to the blood circulation while also carrying essential nutrients such as vitamin K and lipids. The mammary gland is also densely innervated, specifically in the teeth, making it sensitive to suckling of the young. The sensory nerves are affected by the pressure, warmth, and suckling frequency, which coordinates with the smooth muscles in the ducts. So that is the anatomy and physiology of the mammary gland. Thank you.